Yo, it's your boy, Stink Big Videos. I'm so happy that you guys are tuning in with me this morning. Like, if you're just tuning in, um, I made it back out here to the truck. I told you that was on the side of the road and the city put a sticker on it, right? So now I finally found all the tools I need to do the job. And usually you have a, like a, a lug wrench, tire, iron, whatever you want to call it, lug wrench. This little thing look like a plus sign. But in this truck right here, it got these rims on it. We're going to go over there and see. So it won't fit a regular lug wrench. So you got to go to your local hardware store, buy you a whole little socket wrench, a little extension, socket wrench with an extension. And this right here. Shout out to my homeboy Rio. Um, I didn't have to go purchase this two ton jack. And I think he told me he paid like two fifty for it. So we got the AC Deco two and one fourth ton jack. So it should be nothing to pick up the truck. So um, I'm gonna get this jack out, get my tools out. And we're going to get over here to the truck and um, change this tire before the city tow our truck. And we can't have that. All right. All right, y'all. Had I made it over here to the truck finally. As you can see it. It's like a 99 GMC Yukon. Nice truck. But before you start changing any tires on any vehicle, I always put a brake chop the front tire just in case it rolls so it won't roll into another vehicle but I usually do the front tires put a brick stick or just anything so the tires won't roll so I put one on this side I think they're gonna tow my baby skip my truck too they got a lot of rear end work done to it and got it sitting over here and now I got to move it I took the stick off of it. Put a stick on it. So that's what we're looking at. For. Totally flat. And I took the two ton jack out. I got my socket wrench I need. Got my two ton jack. Socket wrench. I came here earlier and sprayed some WD-40 on those lugs because they've been sitting out here for about a year. So you can have really a lot of rust on it. So I let it just sit for about 15 minutes and sprayed it. So it shouldn't be hard to break them, meaning for them to turn. So we can get this tire taken off and jacked up. So let me tell you one thing. This jack here, whew, that thing is heavy. Man, I got a workout just picking up that jack, bringing it down this hill. And, you know, I got to put this jack at the bottom. The jack should be good enough that I can pick up the truck both sides. So I don't got to do one side. But I also got to do this side. You see, I got a little ditch right here. But I got to do this side too. So it's going to be a nice video. So let me get to start. Taking off these tires, y'all, because it looks like it's going to rain here in North Carolina. And we don't want to be taking off tires in the rain. All right, give your boy a second. We're going to be taking tires off. Hit like. Comment down below. If you have any questions about changing your tire, if you catch a flat on the side of the road, you can do the same thing. You know, you might not have a two-ton in the back, but you would know how to change your own tire after this. All right. Let's get to changing. Let's see. Is W40 loosen it up? 
to always right the tight, left the loosen. So we'll be pulling up on it. Loosen the lugs. Oh, here it work. There we go. All of them be just like that one. <clears throat> there we go. That busting wood strength. How many more we got? Huh? Got three more. Those two right there. Man, lugs that been out here in the rain ain't been changed over two years. Kind of tight, even with the WD-40. Let's take a rest. Next time I'm gonna pay somebody to do this. Same old, same old, bro. Ain't much. See, it ain't got a little tricky now. So I'm gonna have to get me something, give me some leverage. Then I can break the nuts a little faster. Because doing it like this is back breaking. And here at Think Big Videos, we can think a little bigger and get us a pole and get us a little leverage and make it a lot easier for us. So let me get this screw out of this. And that's the perfect pole. So as soon as I do that, I get right back with the video, people. Welcome back, people. I didn't give up. We don't give up and think big videos. We're going to get the job done. So um, I didn't have to get no leverage. I just put socket wrench. Extension and this. See that? That's all you needed. But uh, I finally got it, boy. I ain't changed the tire in a while, boy. Shout out to AAA. 
But uh, I had to do it myself this morning. And I didn't want to take y'all through the whole video of me loosening up 12 nuts. Cause these are six lug rims. As you can see, they six lugs. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I have loosened all of them up, as you can see. All of them loose now. See, all of them loose. So you make sure all of them loose. Don't loosen them so much. You're you taking them off just to loosen them at this point. Don't take them off yet. We're going to use the jet to jack it up. I'm going to show you when we're going to jack it up in the middle. And I came over here and got this tie too. This tie was a lot more easier than the other tie. For some reason. And as you can see, they all loose. Just like the other side. But not loose so much that they coming off. I want them to come out. I don't want to tie the, the truck fall to the ground. So now, at this point, we're going to put the jack at the bottom. Jack it up. Take the lugs off. And then the tie should come right off like magic. So, um. We finna show you how this magic work. Make sure you hit subscribe down low, hit like if you like this video. And um, I like doing work on the cars and doing little stuff like this. So if you like this video, if you like more videos like this, how to change your tire, change your oil, um, work on your lawnmower, just let me know, man. If not, man, I know I got some friends that know how to do that stuff. So um, we'll put videos up there for you. Right here, think big videos. You give me an idea, and we'll make it happen. So let's change this tie. And it still look like the rain is coming. So let's go get this jack under here before the rain get us. We don't want the rain to catch us today. All right, people. We're back. Hey, boy, I got the two-ton jack under here now. See the two-ton? You got to put it right under that part right there, right in the middle. And you can lift up the whole rear end and take off both tires at one time. See a little bit of jack I had to use? And I'm going to show y'all this jack. That's why I went and borrowed a jack from my homeboy Rio. Because this little jack right here couldn't do this job. But it did lift it up, that side right there, up just enough for me to put the two-ton under the part I had to go put it under. See? So I use this little smaller jack to jack it up just enough to put the two two in right there. Because I'm still on this hill. So let's see what this two two can do. sit through this whole thing so once I get it up off the air and take the tires off we'll see the alright yo it worked tire number one is off see the little jack I was working with did his job for us to get the big baby out of there so sometime you got to use what you got to get what you need. But look at all this nasty stuff that was under this tie since it was gone. Look at all those ants. And worms and stuff. There's the snake snails. Oh, this was under that tie when I took it off. It's noisy on the street. I can only imagine what's under the other time when you take that off. You know what I'm going to do? I want you to hit like, comment, subscribe. 
down low. And what I will do is I'm going to put a link in the bottom of the description of if you would like to use the same jack, any one of them, the small blue one or the two turn jack. It'll be a link in the bio so you guys can go to over there to the local, local store and grab you one. It'll be a link for that product in the description for the two turn jack and the small AC Deco blue jack at the bottom or one similar to it that'll help you out if you ever catch a flat tire there'll be a link for that big two-ton one and a small one over there to the side and it'll help you out if you ever get in the jam go ahead and take this tie off they go to the other top there but take this one off and then we're gonna go over there to the tire shop and see can we get two tires in put them back on the truck all right All right, we got both tires off. Truck down there, as you can see, ain't got no tires on it. So we're gonna load these up in the back of the truck right here, try to put something down. Cause they have ants and stuff on it. And I threw the tires around a couple times, trying to get all the dust and get off it. So I don't know if y'all can even see me if I load these things up. Since I ain't got no help. Think big videos, but we're gonna get the job done. We're gonna go down here to our local Hispanic tie shop and see what Julio got down here. And that's really his name, I'm not being funny. Let's see what Julio got down here as far as ties go. But it's so sweated out, I can't even wear my favorite hat. <sighs> I'll see y'all at Julio shop. Okay, we'll be over there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, man, I got I, I had uh I gotta change the tires on my other truck. <laughs> How you say T? Get another 25, 25, 40, 40. Well, I've been people on selling some bullshit time. Come <laughs> on, says he's selling they bullshit leave time. All night. They leave my dog all night. They don't give them that. Nobody takes one out. They ain't want shit. <laughs> no, I don't say that because I'm going to get some ties from their ass. You see, at nighttime, they lock the gate up. They're going to sign their time out there. I'm going to sell some bullshit time. They're 25, 40, dollars. You see what's up there? Seven bitch right there. <laughs> All right, Tim. Get up with you, bro. All right, all right, all right. We finally got back from the tire shop and got some pretty good used tires while we was out there. We had to go to three different places, but we got the two tires. They are on, balance, good rubber. Now it's time to put them on the truck. So let's get these big suckers from back here and we're going to put them on the truck. All right, finally got the tire on there. Now I'm gonna put these lugs on it. They'll be done with this side. 
been quite an adventure this morning. But again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Think Big Videos. And if you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we will sure appreciate you checking out the video. We'll do a lot of more things like this around with the car. Everything that's going on with the COVID-19 shops and stuff ain't open, so a lot of stuff you're going to have to learn how to do by yourself. And this is one of them. Changing your tire if you catch a flat. Alright. We just put these up there by hand for right now. And then we'll tighten them up, tighten them up. Tire one is done. And let's go get tire two. All right, we finished. Again, we want to thank y'all for tuning in to Think Big Videos. And this is a tutorial on how you change your flat tire. You've seen us go from beginning to end. But we just had a flat tire out here. We didn't change the tire, took it to the service station. Got us some new tires on both sides, so now we're no longer flat. So we got a whole tire on the ground now. And this is the best part of this job right here. Best part of this job, that when you finish changing these tires and you're sweating as bad as your boy at Think Big Videos, is Letting down the two-ton jack. That's the best part. Me letting down this two-ton jack. And when you letting this jack down, don't let the jack down ultra fast. Let it down slow. And you turn the jack to the left. Slowly turn to the left. Try not to stick under it because it's going to come down. But I'm trying to get y'all a good view of it. So when you change your tires, you got to watch it. And I'm going to gently turn it to the left. And it's going to go down slowly. So I'm turning it now. We're going to put the car with the truck back on the ground. And when you turn it, the jack will release pressure. See how it went straight to the ground? Now, you can see, no more flat tires. We got down here earlier, we had two flats. So again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Think Big Videos. Hit like, comment. I would love to see what you guys say about this video. And um, thank you. Until next time, think big, people.